In this video we are going to install Hexagon OS on OnePlus 3 and I'm going to give you my first impression on this room. This room is unified so you can flash it on OnePlus 3T also. All the required files to flash this room will be given in the description box below. And as you can see installation has started, let me fast forward it for you. So finally the room boots up and the boot animation really looks stunning. And this kind of animation is called abstract animation. Let's fast forward and directly go to home screen of the room. So just after the boot you are greeted with pixel launcher and a custom galaxy wallpaper. And as you can see completely de-bloated room with some useful apps pre-installed like kernel Aditio. Rome is not pre-rooted, so you will have to flash Magisk if you want to have root access. And as you can see, some kind of theme is already applied on the Rome. Nice contrast between blue and white. Very different than normal grey theme you get in stock Android. Basically that means the user interface is quite different than other Rome's. Even in the setting menu, all the tabs are adjusted in the rectangle shape, making it look neat and unique. Let's see if we find any crazy easter eggs. And there is no easter eggs. And as you can see, Rome is using Lineage OSS kernel. Now let's go ahead and have a look at features and customization. Here you get three tabs, hexagon room, I believe all the features are inside this tab. Also navigation and status bar tabs. Let me increase the brightness so you can see it properly. It looks completely different than what I expected. Here you get 6 links into hexagon shape and each link will take you to specific rooms page. And in the sidebar you get status bar, notification drawer, quick setting, lock screen and some blur customization. The features are organized just like AICP room. All the features are properly organized so it's really easy for you to find each feature later on. Also not to forget, you get audio FX pre-installed so you can easily amplify your sound on your speaker as well as headphones. You get many audio modes to adjust your sound. Normally you don't get audio FX in all the custom rooms. Only few rooms comes with audio FX pre-installed. It looks like this room has Snapdragon camera with tons of manual settings. So that was my first impression of this room. It's been 3 days I'm using this room as daily driver and so far did not find any bugs, battery life seems to be average, the RAM management is outstanding. So if you want to see full review and speed test of this room, let me know by liking this video. This is Nash, I will see you tomorrow, till then, keep flashing my friends.